what's going on everybody welcome back to another video you clicked on this video because you want to learn about emb and how to navigate and how to change certain effects and how to play with it and i do recommend everybody start going into game and playing with their emb right now as we're going through here uh, you can follow along with me you can also go into the game and start learning about the emb yourself how i learned what you want to do is hit shift enter assuming you already have it installed and everything like that for here i'm using core fx with the emb uh, you can use this with quant b nbe all that stuff anything that have an enb with it enb files that go into your gta 5 main directory that's going to show the emb menu here so you hit shift enter for me it's page up and enter um the first thing i do want to point out is that you can change your emb uh menu keybind so the you go to input up here it says input and then under here it says key combination i got it on page up uh it'll probably say shift uh, for you like default that's how it is you open it up with shift enter i have problems with this because i role play and i like to run and when i'm running while i'm hitting a menu key or something like that it opens up the emb menu and i don't like that now i hit page up and enter instead of shift enter you can go through here scroll see whatever you want to hit you can hit f16 plus enter and it will now key bind it to f16 but i have page up it's better for me so that's how you do that just go to input the next thing i want to go over is the global plus effect so right here if you close these out you'll see it says global and effect it's always right here it's always going to be shown in the main menu uh, global if you hit global and then under here is only one option hit use effect if i turn that off it basically goes back to like default gta uh plus whatever mod you're using it's not going to have those effects pop out way more if you want more fps as you can see i'm, I'm playing at 47 fps 48 i do need a new pc everyone i know i made that tutorial video about getting more fps and stuff like that i do need a new pc because i don't have enough vram which is video memory I cannot properly play the game how i want it to play if you guys can help me out definitely donate to the patreon all that stuff Help me get a new PC, everybody, so we can make better videos. But anyways, if you want more FPS while you're using EMB, you want to just click global and then use effect, uncheck it, and it will give you as much FPS as you need. As you can see, I'm playing at 84 now. A mix of 84, 83 is just going up and down. It does that. That's what it's going to do. The EMB series shows the FPS in the menu, so that's good. Uh, so actually, I'm probably going to keep it off. Uh, actually no I have to because I'm showing everybody the effects go to a place on the map where there's nobody around where you can play and freely punch around because that's what it's gonna do every time you click um, so if you go here to effect you have all the effects right here you know you got enable water shore rain reflection stuff like that bloom uh, post pass shader but you can play with these different effects do not hit use original post processing because if you turn that off this is what your screen will look like it will either look black or white but this is what it would look like you don't want that so keep that on um original bloom you know stuff like this this is basically my recommended settings everything i have on right here because everything else that's unchecked basically it won't give you any difference in game or it might but it might also tank your fps so you don't want that you want as much fps as possible while playing with the zmb if i was to turn all this stuff on i'll probably be playing at like 30 30 or 20 fps or something like that it like really tanked your fps so you want to be careful when playing with the emb menu i know a lot of people have it in different mods and stuff you definitely want to play and, and see what works out for you the next thing i want to get into is for police cars i know everybody uh a lot of people like to role play with police cars and stuff like that um and they usually have problems with their sorry i'm trying to find the police vehicle um let's do the unmarked Usually people have problems with their police vehicles. I do recommend Core FX, Quant B, and, and NBE, you know, for like brighter emergency lights and realistic gameplay. I do recommend, usually people have problems with their brighter emergency lights. You know, sometimes it's not up to par how they like it. So in the EMB menu, you can actually play with these. Now, mind you, with the mod that you're using, you might want to include a brighter emergency lights mod because this will help you out. It will look like this. Well nothing like this actually until you have core effects or something like that with like a star lens effect that's why i have a star lens effect on and it looks really beautiful those are the lights and i'm gonna leave them on and i'm gonna step out and i'm gonna actually play with the emb mods a little bit so if you open up your emb people usually disregard this area over here 
and that's not okay you gotta you gotta make sure you're playing with these mods uh, this is what everything that you install into your EMB into the GTA 5 main directory so you can play with your depth of field um, if I actually turn that on in the effect area you can play with your depth of field see I don't know you can't really see it but I just turned off enable autofocus and now you can see the background is way more like blurred out compared to where I'm standing right now so you can see the background see the car right there it's a little bit more blurred out and this is for all players if you play hood roleplay servers you play police roleplay servers all that stuff this is for you this is for everybody who plays with the mod so I'm gonna you can basically play with these values so if you want to sensor size or something I don't know what this does <laughs> But I'm just gonna I'm gonna set it to three. Oh, oh, okay. So sometimes it might take you to 480. This is the minimum, you know. So I was at 36 before. So we're gonna put it back because I don't know what I'm doing. If we can go down to emitter intensity, if you go down to vehicle right here on the main menu part, you go to vehicle, and then you go all the way down. And yes, you're gonna hit your car. You're probably gonna hit whatever's near you. Like I said, every time you click. So basically, if you go all the way down in vehicle and go to emitter intensity, you can see mine's is at five, and that's a great value right now. Even with my emergency lights, they're very bright. Oop, I'm just hitting a little key. So if you go to like say 50, and then you click enter, look at them. Look at the lights now. They're super bright. They're getting brighter. So let's say I go to 100. Boom. How bright that is it looks beautiful honestly but I mean it's a little too bright for my liking so I mean this is how you play with yours so I'm gonna go back down to five because that's that's more realistic I like that yeah if you play with that you can play with a couple things in here but I don't really recommend I mean you can that's what they're there for that's the whole point of an EMB menu is it's there so you can play with it you can play with the values you can see what you like and then that's how you get what you need set it back to the value that you had it back before because if you don't then you can start messing up your game with the EMB menu you don't want your game irreversible then you're gonna have to reinstall everything back over here to the shader perimeters that's where depth of field you can play with depth of field you can play with your bloom you can play exactly you can see exactly change the values to exactly what you want and it makes it better you know the glare reflection for the intensity of night and day you know you can play with that it really depends on what mod you're using it gives you those specific options but i have bloom i have lens i have depth of field these are the ones that you usually have anyway and you can play with the for me i can play with star lens which is why the ve the vehicle lights look like that look very beautiful and like realistic kind of look like that uh i don't know i don't know how to explain it but you give off like a realistic feel um and you can also play with astigmatism so you know you can give yourself your your character's eyes astigmatism you know so i like to use the star lens because it makes it much more realistic and beautiful and better and you can play with the, the you know the width and the number of blades if you look very closely at let's say the front of the car right here where the ford logo is let me uh change the number of blades oh it's not astigmatism so astigmatism is right here we're not using that so we're using the star lens so you want to play with the number of blades say i have four of them right now you see one at the top two right here one and then one that's four so if i increase that to let's say 12. now look at it. hey that's beautiful right you know that's what i'm saying it's just you can play with it. so i like to keep mine at four or two actually two is really good um i'm gonna keep it at four for now though just for now and you know that's the lens you can play with the lens effect and how you do these these are the effects over here so if i have depth of field checked on over here you can play with depth of field here if i have lens disabled i can go here but i still can't play with these effects because look at the lights now it's not going to take that effect and this is kind of common sense but you know for everybody who's new to the gta 5 platform this is how you play with the emb menu so i'm turning the lens back on oops didn't mean to hit my car and then you can also play with the adaptation and um, the EMB effects and stuff like that, which is the night brightness. You can actually play with the HDR. You can choose it to be very bloomy. See how my screen just got bloomy? You can play with the natural warm effect. I like that actually. But I want to go back to HDR because it, it kind of gives that ultra high definition effect to your game. And you can also, like I said, play with the brightness. 
so kind of, it's kind of night right now since it's night right now you can actually set it and mines only go up to four i've played with this before so since it's night right now you can actually i'll set it to two see how it just got brighter i'm actually going to keep it like that too when i finish the video <laughs> but you know because my nights are very dark sometimes and i don't like that but see how i just made the night three now it's brighter it's, it's very much brighter you can play with this stuff guys in the a and b menu and now I'm going to set it to 4, which is the max, a little bit more brighter. Usually when it's at max or minimum, it will have a purple light, like a highlight on the text. So this is light blue, but this is like a purple highlight. So that's how you know it's maxed out and minim minimalized out. And also the saturation. This is something a lot of YouTubers play with. I can set it to like, I don't know, let's see the max. Uh, let's say 20 at least. Let's say 20. So I set it. Okay, I can't even set it to 20. I can only set it to 2. Uh, so, you know, I include that. Um, I think it's getting daytime, so we got to start messing with the dates time. Yeah, there we go. See? So, when it's nighttime, when it's in between those nighttime hours, I don't think you can really mess with it. Since it's becoming daytime, it's starting to uh, give me the option for the daytime hours. So, I just included the saturation to two. That's the max saturation for this in the daytime. See how it looks? It looks so beautiful, you know? So you gotta play with stuff like that. People always come to my Discord, ask me, uh, how do you do this? How do you do that? And you know, you gotta play with these. You gotta play with these options. You know, if you don't play with these options, then your EMB is gonna be as plain as can be. Uh, you know, you can play with your, I don't know how, I never knew how to pronounce this, but I think it's Viginet, Vignet or something like that. You can play with this amount too. I know what it does. I just don't know how to pronounce it. So if I set it to one, See how it gives me that effect, that dark effect, like that NVE looking effect? Because that's what NVE does. It gives me, it gives you that vignette effect on the top. And usually some of the corners of the screen is kind of like a, a little shadow looking. And it's beautiful. I love that. You can play with the effect. You can play with the amount, the curve, the radius of it. You can play with the color. I can make this white, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my, my game. You can even, some some mods even offer an, a VHS filter and overlay. Look at that. Look what I just did to my game. And all it is is a click. So boom, I'm probably gonna be messing with my game a little bit more by the time I get out of here. But uh, yeah, you can mess with the intensity of things. Just make sure you set it back to the original value if you don't wanna mess up the game. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna mess up your game. So this is what my game looks like right now. Probably what I'm going to leave it on. It looks so good. It's just a full guide on FPS. It's very beautiful. Um, I currently love it like this. I'm going to keep it like this for future videos. If you guys like the 5 and roleplay content, definitely check out my channel because I do a lot of that. Uh, I've been doing the LSPDFR recently, uh, but this is something I wanted to get into because everybody keep asking me about the EMB menu and how to fix certain things and how to make this like that and the night is dark and certain things by the way i want to i want to let everybody know this if your skies are like dark or black or like a different color is not supposed to be like that or or maybe a shadow is glitched out or something like that trees are a certain color that it's not supposed to be at all like black or something is glitched out that means you install something incorrectly or even if you did install it correctly that means that something is conflicting with your mod that you install. So if I install Quant V while also having Make Visuals Great Again installed, it might conflict. Some things might conflict with each other. So you have to make sure that each mod is uninstalled completely before you install a new one. Unless you know exactly what you're doing and where these files are, and which I do. So game support does cost twenty dollars in the discord if you want to pay the twenty dollars it is five dollars extra per hour um after the twenty dollars so the first hour is twenty dollars you got to pay twenty dollars if you pay that i help you get get it set up i've had a uh, successful game support 100 percent success rate so far and i'm very happy to say that join the discord just because the discord is a fun place to be join the discord um and yeah that's pretty much it drop a like drop a subscription if this helps you out and definitely let me know in the comments what you're suffering with and join the discord so i can help you out much love everybody peace out thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video